So we're still here at Citibank, um, go going across the street with Peter Yarrow um, to, to hit up Citibank one more time. Um, gonna do a little singing, and uh, we have some amazing folks. Laura Newman. What's up? There she is, one of the producers of Gasland. Yeah. Please. And we have. Uh, there's Doug McLean. Hey. We have Alex, Alex Ebert on the way. And we're going to do one, one last uh, action Hi. here. Okay. One last moment. Defund. I love the whiteboard. You can, you can, got to go. Hello, Josh. Hey, how you doing? Good. You can just ch change whatever, yeah, whatever message you want. You want. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It's a sneaky, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we've got a lot of issues these days. We do. Thanks yeah. for being here. Oh, You're always in the right place. <laughs> There's a lot of us out here. I appreciate you. I try. Thank you. Thank you. And and even in all over this land, I am around danger. I am around Thing with our hearts at Standing Rock and these temperatures which are punishing are probably what they would consider a warm day. <laughs> We've got to know that there are people who have put their lives on the line. They are, there are some people in this country, our First Nations, who have endured the most oppression of any group that I know of in the world that are not about to back down after having had multiple, multiple, multiple hundreds of years of oppression of the kind we might be walking into ourselves in this country. It is they that have the courage because they've seen it, they've been there, and they have been annealed in the fires of struggle and when we stand with them, we stand with them not because they're wonderful to join us. We are joining them. Amen. They are carrying the water here. Amen. They have shown the courage, the courage to, stand, to stand up to the, to the, the multinational money, to the Trump-Putin alliance, to the 500 billion oil deal they're trying to put through, which is probably the real reason for this election going in this way. They are doing it. We have stood up before in front of a government that was dead set on pursuing a war in Vietnam. And we, the people, stopped it. We can do this. It will take struggle, it will take suffering, it will take shivering in the cold. But I was moving before you got here. I have, I have been there. I have been a part of it. I have seen it. I've seen the hopelessness. I've seen the hope. I've seen the love of brothers and sisters. And that is what does it. Pete Seeger tells us in this song what it's all about. He says, if we do not hammer out a warning, sing out danger, our rights justice and freedoms will disappear and then he tells us how to do it he told us in this song and he left it to us and you know what that is the love between our brothers and our sisters that is the power from which will come victory so when we sing this song we're not just singing a cute little song that was popular at one point we're singing a sacred song that has the instructions telling us how we won then, how we will win now. If I had a bell, I'd ring it in the morning, I'd ring it in the evening, all over this land.
System. Divestment! It was divestment. Peter, Paul, and Mary got arrested in front of the South African Embassy, and there was a little girl with green hair who was with us at the time. <laughs> and you know something? That is why we are standing here in front of Citibank. Because if they hear that their fortunes are going to be in jeopardy in any way. Are you kidding if somebody complains at the bank because they don't feel somebody has looked at them right, they shake. <laughs> what will happen when people say, we cannot abide this, our children are going to die. My granddaughter will not have water. We're going to have millions and millions of people to die. We must do this, folks. So we must know that people tremble. And you know something? In 1969, we had had about half a million people singing at the March on Washington to end the war. Singing! No speeches! <laughs> and guess what? That is now credited as the turning point of the opinion of the United States against the Vietnamese war. That's why we sing. Yes. If I had a song, I sing it in the morning, I sing it in the evening, all over this land. I sing out danger, I sing out warning, I sing out love between my brothers and my sisters. Oh. putting our arms around each other. We must get close. Except if you have a camera in your live stream. Oh, <laughs> that is what will give us our power, is helping each other. Do you know what, do you know what happened with John, John Lewis, with the Freedom Riders? They pulled them off the bus, they beat them, they, they, they broke their bones, they were lacerated, they threw them into jail. And he said, when they got money to bail them out. We're not going, we're staying here. We're not here to go get out of jail. We're here to call attention to this horrific tragedy. So they sang, and you know what the jailer said? Something's crazy. They're so happy they're singing. Let's tell them they can't sing. You know what? They came to them and they said, you can't sing. And you know what they said? We're singing. He, they said, we're taking away your mattresses. You're going to sleep on cold steel. We're singing. Why did they sing? Because of the same reason we're singing here. Because that was the fuel that brought them together and healed them and let them endure the losses. You go to the Rosa Parks Museum, you will see the people on the wall who died. We sang at the gravesite of Andrew Goodman. We stand here together, honoring that history. Now we sing, if I had a hammer, if I had a bell, together. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. Sisters, 
sisters all over this land. <laughs> first no, wave just, just of the way it is. Of, I'm just of it's okay. at the lunch counter came about this number. And the, and the police recalled, but they waited for a while while the people in the, in, the, in the lunch counter beat them up. And then they arrested them. They said, okay, John Keel. And then the next wave came. And they sat down and they did the same thing. And when they took them away, they said, done deal. But when the third wave came, they realized it was going to be a losing battle. As many people at that lunch counter are here, mm. as right now, do not doubt the strength of this little demonstration. All demonstrations are absolutely critical. That's why we're standing here in the cold. And look at that baby over there. <laughs> that baby. Look at that child. She's six. <laughs> the earth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get down in this bitter cold. All right. Thanks, Peter. Peter, I would just thank you so much for my heart song and the spirit. Uh, yes, I'm coming. That's how it's done.